hello guys welcome back to another video and today's video we're going to be making a simple morph script so without further ado let's get started a quick disclaimer before this video starts um this morph script isn't like the regular morph scripts where you would have just a bunch of accessories and you would need to align them to each humanoid part instead this morph script works similar to the starter character functionality when you place a model named starter character in the starter player folder um if you didn't understand it don't worry um all you're going to need before this video starts is a humanoid rigged up so like the accessories already put on them and it's working so let's get started so for the sake of this video um i've already created my two rigged up humanoids here uh, we got our regular noob, which is just a regular sized character, and he has his sword and helmet. And we have our heavy noob here, and he's carrying some more items on him and a bigger sword. And he's slightly, slightly bigger than our regular noob. Now, both of these characters already work, so let's get the starter noob, and let's name him uh, Starter Character. And if we place him into Starter Player and Starter Game... As you can see, when we spawn in, which will be a moment here, um, we are the noob, and everything's rigged up. His helmet's wearing, uh, he's wearing his helmet, and he's got his sword on his waist. Okay. Anyways, we have our two rigs here. I'm just going to use the two rigs here, and we can, uh, this is the wrong one, we can get started now. So what we need to do is we need to create... Uh, a script but in this video I'm going to create a module script in server storage don't worry about that you can still follow along even if you don't know how module scripts will work or if you don't want to use a module script or uh, it's all fine but I'm going to create a function here so we're gonna say function module dot morph and this function is going to take two parameters so it's going to take uh, a player parameter and our model parameter um, you can do this in a regular script you're just going to need to provide the player parameter and the model parameter I'm only doing it in a module script so I can show an example later with ease and what we need to do now is we need to first get the player's character so player.character Next, we need to get a copy of our new model. So we're actually, we're going to call this old character. We're going to call this new character. And it's just going to remodel that clone. And we're going to need to, um, let's see, we need to first, we need to, yeah, um, rename it. So new character dot name, because in the Explorer or the end yeah, Explorer in the workspace, your character is named after you, so we need to do that, player.name. And then we need to set the new character, so player.character equals new character. And we're also going to need our animate script. So our animate script is the script inside our character, which handles our animations. So I might, I should have done this before I set the character. Actually, you could do it too. But we, what we need to do is we need to go fetch it. So, yeah, and you do us up here. Local animate script equals old character. It's called animate with a capital A. We're just going to clone it. And we're just going to put it in our new character. So when we get our new character, it's going to have animations because if we don't, it won't have animations. However, if you do already provide an animate script inside your character with custom animations, you can completely ignore this. So I'm just going to say option because if you want to make custom animations, which I won't explain how. You can provide your own animate script with your own animation IDs. But yeah, let's get back. We need to now, we need to do new character. 
and we're going to use the function or do a, yeah we're going to use a function set primary part c frame and we're going to set it to old character and we're going to use the function get primary part c frame what this is going to do is it's going to set our new character's position to exactly where our old character's position was then i forgot to set that our new character dot parent it needs to be placed in the workspace or else it won't appear and we can destroy our old character and that's pretty much it that is the entirety of this morph script it's not long it's pretty short and now to our example which i will do really quickly okay so i've created a really simple script here and just a quick explanation on how it worked what we're doing is we're detecting when the our button here which is this button ooh, I better line that up. when this button here is touched uh that's fine when this button here is touched we'll use the regular new what it's going to do is it's going to grab the part that touched it so for example our foot and it's going to check that foot's parent which should be the character and it's going to use the players game service to fetch our player from the character because there's a function called get player from character now if there is a player so if it finds a player then it's going to call our morph script uh, our morph function that we made here in this module script earlier so we can test it out oh heavy noob is not a valid member of oh oh Oh, I did that wrong. I better put these here. So let's get started in here. Now, if we press on one of these buttons, as you can see, I'm my normal character. But if I press on this character, oh, I am a noob. It changed me right away. Get primary C frame. I misspelled something here. Get primary part C frame. Yeah, make sure you don't make the same typos I did. But as you can see it works perfectly fine so if we go in the regular noob we are now the noob morph if we go in this one oh kind of laggy <laughs> forget the, don't forget the debounce i should have added a debounce but as you can see our morph here works and we have our animations although i think i did anchor this yeah anyways and there is a nice thing about what i have done here or the way i've made this more script is you can actually customize the humanoids because it's custom so for example for our heavy noob here let's say we want to give him 120 hp but we want to make him walk slightly slower than the normal and for our regular noob here we can set his hp to 100 and it's just going to be regular speed and now this would be really nice for like a class selection game um if you have like different classes yeah i still should have added that debounce now if we test this out as we can see when we press this we get our regular noob and he's walking normally fine and he has animations well, if we go into our heavy noob now as you can see we do walk slightly slower it's not really visible but we are walking slower because yeah anyways that's it for this video uh if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments or you can join our discord server i'll be happy to answer your questions and otherwise that's that I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. It helps the algorithm. But that's it. So I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.